So the Houston Texans beat the Indianapolis Colts 23-20. to The Houston Texans are by far the most stressful 6-2 team I have ever seen. There's only two games this entire season where the Texans did not stress me out. And they stressed me. It was the game where we got blown out by the Vikings where it wasn't stressful. It's just like, yeah, we just suck. And then in the next game, we played the Patriots and blew them out, which was fun to do. But then they set up the game versus Green Bay. A couple of positives that I saw. Joe Mixon. Um, he was a great signing, probably the best free agent signing of the offseason, in my opinion. The offensive line still has his troubles. Kenyon Green, man, Kenyon Green. My man isn't good. He's not good. And that's tough to see because you invested a pick. You invested the Cleveland Browns first round pick into Kenyon Green. You know, you know, he left the game. Patterson comes in. He plays well. Then Patterson gets hurt. And then Green comes in and then he sucks again. So it, it's pretty tough, right? You know, but it's just you, you, you have what you have. For me, this win is a good win. It was close, closer than I wanted it to be, but that's just how I feel like the Texans football is going to be. It's going to be close games. You have to manage the schedule properly because we have our bye week is in December or it's, it's really late in the season. So the injuries we get, there's no time to be like, okay, we're going to take a break now. We're going to resettle, reshuffle stuff. We're going to do this and that because the schedule makers wanted to make it hard. There are some pros to the six and two record besides just plainly being six and two. You know, all our six wins have been against the AFC. We've completely owned the division so far in terms of winning. I mean, right now we should be the two seed in the conference, but it's the thing that worries me is that I've seen good Texan teams in the past have a pretty good record and then go out and be trash when it matters the most. So being six and two, is cool, but I need to see some consistency. I need to see this team dominate or play really good ball where I'm like, man, that's a good win. Because the best win we've had so far was against New England or maybe Buffalo, but in terms of like beginning to end was New England. And even then in the first half, I was like, ah, took to the second half to really get things going. The next game is the New York Jets. And the Jets, I mean, they're a team that's two and six, but they're still talented. And it's in that terrible stadium and it's on a short week. If you can win that game, it'll do wonders for you. But it's a very losable game at the same time. You know, the Jets probably gonna be very pissed and very upset that they're losing all these games to dumb teams. And they're going to definitely try to hit us in the mouth, especially in New York on Halloween. So, you know, managing that, then you face the Detroit Lions the next week and then the Dallas Cowboys. You know, the schedule is not easy. You're going to have to really, really, you know, prove yourself in these next couple games. I hope to get Christian Harris back. I hope to get, you know, Nico Collins comes back soon. You know, I hope to get a little bit healthy, man. I mean, having no bye week is very rough. But nonetheless, you know, great win for the Houston Texans. You know, we won 10 games last year and we're six and two. So with nine games remaining, if you go four and five, you win, you go 10 and seven. So essentially meaning you have, you, you can go under 500 and just have the same record you had last year. So it's realistic that you can, you know, go 11, win 11 games, you got to go five and four, you know, 12 games, you got to go six and three. And that seems like that could be the probably the most realistic option. But you got to face some, you're facing some teams, man. You got to face the uh, the Lions, you know, the Cowboys, even though they haven't looked the best, they still can, you know, pose a threat. Face the Dolphins, the Chiefs, the Ravens. It's a gauntlet, man. It's 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 gonna it's gonna be a gauntlet. Your buy is late. It's gonna be a gauntlet. This is the season where the Texans have to prove to us that they have that endurance, that they have that adversity that they could pull through from, because it is going to be a ride if they want to get to a Super Bowl. Every time I leave these weeks, every week I go by that Green Bay week. This week I always go by saying I'm I'm missing something, right? I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. Hopefully we find it. Because when we face these tough teams, I do not want to see us struggle and get blown out because we can win 12 games. But we just end up like Dallas and go in the first round and lose. That seems pretty foolish to me. That seems like, okay, that was a waste of my time to be heavily invested. The AFC Championship is the goal at the very bare minimum. You need to make your first AFC Championship. You have a tough Ravens team, a tough Chiefs team that's ahead of you that can stop you from this. And then teams like the Bills that can, you know, also pose a threat in the rematch sense, right? So you have a lot of tough teams that you have to play to get to this point. But you can't put your foot off the gas. You know, the Jets next week, you got to end their season, man. I mean, this week, you got to end their season. 
we'll see what happens man a good win for the houston texans man um i probably will watch that jets texan game live on a live stream so that should be fun to watch should be stressful but you know much better than last week cj had like 80 yards passes so it's good to see him have a good day and hey anthony richardson man you know you got a lot to work on they were hyping you up in this offseason and it, it it don't look good so yeah there's a lot to work out of you anthony richardson and the colts it's good to sweep the colts at the end of the day you swept the colts we haven't done that many times if ever so it always feels good to do that hey jets we see y'all in a couple days should be fun hopefully no injuries knock on wood please have no injuries because that field is so terrible but hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's a road to 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.